Today is January 24th, which means that tomorrow will mark one week until I get meniscus surgery on my left knee. And I'm going to vlog the entire experience leading up to surgery, so I'll see you tomorrow. That was such a serious, I'll see you tomorrow, so let me try that again. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> it's tomorrow. It's... 6 30 a.m and i'm really tired i went to bed too late last night and i'm gonna get ready to go to the gym i'm gonna swim and i might do something after depending on how much time i have but um yeah let's get it started and i guess i have to give jackie some water first you got water dripping from your chin you already drank. You already drank. It's 6.45 and I'm still in bed because the most impossible thing to do when you're laying in bed is to get up when you have a cat just cuddled up next to you. But every time I talk, she gets up. Look. I really need to get up. Okay, now it's 7.40, and I'm still in bed, but I'm going to get out now. I got to do something. I'm not going to make it to the gym to swim, so I'm going to give Jackie some water, go get some coffee, and then do a quick 20 to 30 minute workout. So I'm going to get started for real now. I promise. This seems like a good time to explain why I'm vlogging, and there are three reasons. One, I like to make things, and this is just a great creative outlet for me. Number two, um, it's a nice way for me to share a glimpse into my passions and interests. I'm a pretty private person, my family and friends can attest to that, and this allows me to share in a way that's within my own comfort zone. And number three, this is a little bit cliche, but I want to provide motivation and inspiration. I often find myself struck and inspired by other quote unquote fitness creatives and the content they, that they put out into the world. And I want to put similar content out myself. So I have my coffee, got some foam there. Straight black though, I like black coffee. I'm gonna get ready for my workout now. I think I'm gonna do maybe a 20, to 25 minute AMRAP. I'll do 10 push ups, five pull ups, and five dips continuously for the entire 20 to 25 minutes. And we'll see how that feels. Finish that it felt meh not great i still got through it i had a little pain in my elbow throwing the push-ups and the dips i don't know if that was because of bad form probably because of bad form i haven't been working out a lot lately so i'm probably just rusty but um i got the work done which is a relief really what i'm trying to do with these workouts this week in um, preparation for surgery is just staying in semi-decent shape. I know that once 
surgery is finished, I won't be able to do a lot for a few weeks. So I'm just trying to like maintain a decent base of fitness, but I'm happy that I got this mini workout in before my workday starts. It's about it's 12 45 i haven't eaten yet so it is time to make some lunch because i am starving so this is what i cooked up real quick i got some scrambled eggs um a cinnamon raisin bagel with some cream cheese got my favorite fruit ever blueberries got my second favorite fruit ever some dates got my third favorite fruit ever some uh, grapefruit and a little more black coffee. So I'm gonna have this and then get back to work. It's almost 11. I forgot to film when I ended my work day, but I'm gonna read for like 10, 15 minutes, get to bed, and I guarantee I'll wake up on time to go to the gym and swim tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. I promise. And if you're wondering what this blue thing on my cheek is, it's toothpaste. I have a budding pimple and I'm trying to take care of it. I'll see you tomorrow morning to swim. I promise. Peace. It's 6.30 on the dot. I woke up. And now, I'm about to head to the gym to swim for real today. So, I'm going to head out now. So that was fun and interesting. I didn't really have any rhyme or reason um, for this workout. I pretty much swam for 15 minutes with the pull buoy, which helps elevate my legs so they don't sink. And it forces me to, actually it allows me not to kick, which makes life easier on my knee. And then once that first 15 minutes was finished, I swam without the pull buoy. And that's when everything felt incredibly funky. But the thing is, I've been swimming with this pull buoy ever since I hurt my knee. So it's not surprising that my stroke without the buoy was so bad. Hopefully this helped me continue to maintain my base of fitness. Because really that's all I can do at this point was surgery six days away. Yeah, six days away. So yeah, um, I, I feel good. It was a good workout. I'm happy with it, and now it is time for work. You're just in front of the vent to stay warm in the cold weather? So I'm in the car again because I have a doctor's appointment to get surgical clearance for next Tuesday. And the reason why I need surgery is because I hurt my knee playing soccer the day after Christmas. And I don't even play soccer anymore. All I do is really pass the ball around and, and shoot. 
but at one point I was taking a shot and I guess I planted too hard with my left foot and I heard a crack. And I think, um, I don't think, um, I'm positive that that's how my injury occurred. And it's, it's a really a bummer because this year I had so many, oh my God, I'm running through a yellow light. Okay, oops, that was red. Okay, I'm clear, I'm good. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's a bummer that this injury happened right as a new year was about to hit because I had so many fitness goals for 2022. And just like context for that, 2021 was a year where I finished my first triathlon and I really fell in love with the sport. So I, I wanted to continue on that journey and see what else I could do in the realm of triathlon. So this year I had already, I had already signed up for a half marathon in Philly in late March, which now I, I cannot do. And then I also had goals of completing an Olympic distance triathlon because last year I did a sprint distance. So I wanted to go up one notch this year. And then I also had it in the back of my head that I was going to try a half Ironman. And I don't know if either of those things I can do this year. We'll have to wait and find out to see what happens after surgery. I also, on top of those three things, I wanted to do an ocean mile swim um, down the shore, which I think I'll still be able to attempt that because um, swimming isn't very hard on the knees or it's not hard at all on the knees. I'm still doing it right now, obviously. So I'm still going to give that a shot, but we'll have to see about everything else. I may have to rejigger my 2022 fitness goals but right now I'm just hoping that this doctor's appointment goes well so I get surgical clearance and I can continue or I guess start my path toward becoming fully healthy again <laughs> checkup and it was very interesting because I had to get something called an EKG test which is um, a test that tracks your cardiac health from what the doctor told me that's how I understand it so they pretty much put a bunch of stickers all over my arms my chest and near my ankles and connected wires to the stickers and this nurse came in this nurse practitioner I think she was all the wires were connected to a big machine that she was in charge of and they pretty much tracked my cardiac health which is incredibly imperative going into surgery because if I don't have good cardiac health I shouldn't be being put under anesthesia which I need to be under in order to undergo the surgery thankfully the results come out come back very quickly and I have a clear bill of health I was a little bit worried going in because I have high cholesterol, it's hereditary, and I'm on medication for that high cholesterol. But my prescription ran out about a month ago, and I've been really bad about getting it refilled. So when she said, I need to like do this EKG test, I need to make sure your cholesterol is okay, I was like, oh my God, I haven't taken my medicine in like a good month. Did I just screw myself because I wasn't responsible in terms of refilling my medicine? Thankfully, I'm good. I also got my med medicine refilled so I can, again, get a handle on my cholesterol. But I'm just thank thankful that I have a clear bill of health. I've been cleared for surgery. And now I can take the next step in terms of getting my knee fixed, which is getting to next Tuesday and undergoing this operation. So I don't know. I'm just happy I got through today. It's almost 10 o'clock and I have a meeting. This is not a normal thing, but today it is. So I'm gonna hop onto the Zoom call and hopefully by the time it's done, I will have survived, I guess, right? Survive the meeting, hopefully it goes well.
we'll see how it goes. Hi everyone, um, I think I'm meeting all of you for the first time. My name is Mitch, obviously, and I'm going to share my screen really quick. Again, I hope this helped, and feel free to reach out, and uh, I'm going to go to sleep now. <laughs> Just finished the meeting. It went well. Now I'm going to get ready for bed, and hopefully I'll wake up at a decent time tomorrow to get to the gym to swim and or bike. It's almost 9 o'clock, which means I didn't make it to the gym. I went to bed too late last night. And it's crazy because already twice this week, I've overslept and not made it to the gym. Before my knee injury, I was waking up, waking up at 6, easy, every single day. So I'm a little disappointed in myself, but at the same time, I got to give myself a little grace because I'm not in that gym perfectly fit, raring to go mode because... Again, I have surgery in less than a week, but I'll still do my best to make the best out of today, which is Thursday, and um, at least I got Jaggy, right? Oh, you're gone? Okay. Just finished my only meeting of the day for work. Obviously, I still have more work to do, but I'm going to try and sneak in a quick workout after work to make up for my lack of gym time this morning. So I'm about to actually get this workout in today. It's going to be really quick and I wouldn't call it easy, but um, I'll breeze right through it, which is nice. So for 15 minutes straight, I'm going to do 10 body weight squats, 10 of these random crunch variations, and 10 sumo push ups for 15 minutes straight. And this will be, this might be a little bit difficult just because I haven't done any form of squat variation since I hurt my knee on December 26th, which is now over a month ago. So it'll be interesting to see how my knee handles squatting. Um, my doctor said that I can weightlift and I can squat, so I won't be hurting myself, but this might be a little shock to my body. But again, it's um, going to be body weight, so it won't be a ton of stress. But again, 15 minutes straight. Let's see how I do. <music> These sumo push-ups hurt my knee, so I'm gonna do regular push-ups. That's um, it's too much stress on the knee. By now, you know I'm getting meniscus surgery. Um, I'm not new to knee surgeries. I've torn both my ACLs, unfortunately, which is why actually I'm not overly worried about this impending operation. So my only overly emotional moment was during this entire process was when I got the call about my MRI results. I broke down for a good minute and just let out the, the frustration, the sadness, the defeat I felt, honestly. But now I'm feeling confident I actually watched the 30 for 30 documentary on Alex Smith a few days ago. It's about that quarterback who nearly lost his leg because of a post-surgery infection. And that just put my situation into even further perspective. I'm lucky that only my meniscus is torn. Um, I'm lucky that, knock on wood, I'll have a chance to build up my fitness again and be more cognizant about staying healthy long term. So I'm making this whole vlog about my week going into surgery, but just know that 
I'm thankful and that I'm, I'm honestly, I'm very confident. Okay, I finished, I don't know how many rounds I did. I lost count after the third round. Um, I feel so much better. Um, I always feel accomplished after I, I move a little bit. Um, something I noticed making this vlog this week is that I say um a lot. So I'm gonna try and stop saying um so much. So yeah. I probably won't film any more today, but I'm hoping I will make it to the gym tomorrow morning for a swim and or a bike, just as I hoped I would make it to the gym this morning. But I think I'll be okay tomorrow morning, so you will definitely see me in the pool in the AM on Friday morning. So until then, peace. It's almost 8.30 in the morning and there is a winter storm warning for where I am. And if you take a look out the window, it already started snowing and it's supposed to keep snowing for 24 hours. So by the time we get to Saturday, there's probably gonna be a lot of snow on the ground. Um, I did not make it to the gym this morning. And there's an interesting story why. So I went to bed at like 11.30. And before I went to bed, like I, I was I was reading a book and then I looked up and then I have this picture of my grandma and grandpa on my table here. And I just like caught sight of the picture and I thought of my grandpa who passed away in 2019. And I was like, oh, I miss grandpa. It was just like a random thought. <clears throat> so I go to bed at 1130 after I finish reading and I have a dream about my grandpa. And he passed away from cancer. And my dream took place while he was still sick, but he was still healthy enough to like go out and about and do things and hang out. And we just like spent a few hours together in this dream. And I woke up at about 2.30 in the morning and my nose was a little stuffy and I felt like some, some weird stuff in my throat. And I was like, I thought to myself, I hope I'm not getting sick. So, then I started connecting all of these random dots that really aren't close to each other on on the map living inside my head, whatever that means. And I thought to myself, should I really go to the gym in the morning and risk getting sick, i.e. somehow catching COVID and then not being able to have surgery on Tuesday? Because I do need to get a COVID test before going into surgery. So I don't know what all that means. But my little experience from last night convinced me not to go to the gym this morning to risk infection. Again, that might be a subconscious excuse on my part because I didn't want to go through the hassle of driving to the gym in snow, albeit light snow. But yeah, I didn't go to the gym this morning. I'll still make sure I get some work in today. But that's my little my little story from my Thursday night. So with all that said, I'm going to get to work with my partner in crime here. Well, she's probably not gonna do any work, but I will. So I'll see you later. I told you I would get this work in. Let's go. Obviously, haven't been very consistent in terms of waking up early and getting to the gym this week. I mentioned earlier that before my injury, I was waking up at 6 a.m. easy every single morning to get to the gym. And one of the reasons why that was the case was because I had a very strict workout program in place that I was following. And I knew what I was going to do the night before and even the week before I actually got to the gym. 
And to be honest, I was very excited the night before I'd wake up early to get to the gym just because I was really enjoying the workout program and I became very passionate about it. And this week, my inconsistencies, I think one of the reasons why they exist is because I have no plan in place. I'm in workout limbo right now. And when I say that, I mean there's really no long-term thing I can be working towards at the moment because I'm getting surgery. Obviously, I can w wake up early, go to the gym, and do some stuff just to like stay in decent shape, but that's not very motivating to be honest because I know once surgery ends, I'll have to start physical therapy. And speaking of physical therapy, my workout inconsistencies this week, I think I can learn a lesson from them. I've learned that I need a strict plan in place. So no matter what PT I'm given post-surgery, I'm also going to have to put into place my own plan to hold myself accountable. Because if I follow the same path I've been following this week post-surgery, I'm not going to make the progress I think I'm capable of making, and I'm not going to get healthy as quick as I think I can. So taking everything into consideration, lesson learned I guess the saying goes you live and you learn I, I have definitely lived this week and I definitely learned this week Okay, I just finished. What I did was this like YouTube video from 2015. It's a yoga ab workout. And I used to do it all the time during college. And I used to struggle a lot. I couldn't get through all of it without stopping. But after doing it today for the first time in probably like four years, it was hard but it wasn't incredibly difficult, which is a good sign. It's a sign that I'm fitter than I was four years ago. But still, I got a decent workout in, even though, again, I didn't make it to the gym this morning. I'm proud of myself. And now we have one, two, three, four days left until surgery, so... I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens next. Saturday morning, it's still snowing, as you can kind of see. And what I'm trying to do is edit this video, as you can also see. And in the background, I have my friend Juan Lima on Instagram Live doing a DJ set. I've been editing this video all day, so I hope you're still watching and enjoying it, fingers crossed. But now I'm, I'm about to do a random workout. I'll probably, I have one kettlebell at home, it's about 30 pounds. So I'm gonna make up a workout and do something for about 30 minutes just to put myself at ease so I can tell myself that I did something today. So let's see how, let's see how it goes.
Don't mind me, just want to go pick up some sushi. But the workout I did was um, five sets of 10 single arm shoulder press, five sets of 10 dumb, uh, or excuse me, kettlebell curl, uh, five sets of 10 double arm shoulder press, and five sets of 10 of kettlebell rows on each arm. Just wanted to give you that quick insight as you're, as you're watching the highlights. It's Sunday morning, it's 9.30, the snow stopped. Obviously there's still snow outside. My dad beat me to shoveling, but I'm gonna go outside now and clean off the cars. And then after that, do a lot of video editing so I can be free to watch the NFL championship games later today. And Jaggy is making kitty noises all over the place, even though I already gave her water this morning. Yes. <laughs> Say hi. Oh. It's almost 11 p.m. Sunday night. Tomorrow is surgery eve. And in honor of surgery eve, I am going for a swim in the morning before work. I'm not going to guarantee it because you know how that goes. I got a partner here. Just checking things out. Trying to get comfortable before we go to bed. Hopefully she'll be my, uh, my alarm clock. But she'll probably just be sleeping herself. But yeah, I'll see you in the morning to hopefully swim. Keep your fingers crossed. It's almost 6.30 on surgery eve. I'm up. I'm about to head to the gym. And like clockwork, Jackie's looking for water. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> it is 13 degrees. Oh my gosh, but I'm at the gym. As you can kind of see. I had pizza last night during the NFC Championship game, so now I kind of feel it in my stomach, which might make for an uncomfortable swim, but I'm still gonna swim. I'm really just gonna try and enjoy the water like I've been doing the past few weeks, and that's about it. I probably won't film because if you're still watching at this point, it's been over 30 minutes, and you don't need any more B-roll of me swimming, so I will see you after the gym. Six thirty AM. Okay, no eating after ten, no drinking after midnight. Can I have water in the morning or not even water? 
Okay, just making sure. No, totally cool. So, um, I'll see you at 6.30 a.m. then. Thank you. Bye. 6.30 a.m. It's like I'm waking up for the gym. It's 6.15 p.m. on surgery eve. In 12 hours and 15 minutes, I will be at the surgical center because my call time is 6.30 a.m. And I feel like this is a good place to end this vlog my week before meniscus surgery because honestly, I have to finish editing and I have to get ready for bed because it will be an early morning tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Uh, wish me good luck and I'll see you in future videos.